Burma is always known as the golden land because of the Shwedagon Pagoda, the greatest pagoda of its kind in the world. This pagoda actually is a symbol of how deep Buddhism is rooted in the lives of the people in Myanmar. There are eight major races with some 135 ethnic groups. The major national races are Kachin, Kayin, Kaya, Chen, Mon, Bama, Rakhine, and Shan. As Myanmar is an agricultural country, the majority of the people are peasants who lived in the rural areas. Most of their cultural performances reflect the occupation and daily lifestyle of the people they represent. Although Myanmar has become one of the poorest countries in the world, the country is rich in ecosystem and biodiversity. The environment was like a fantastic landscape that can touch every observer's hearts. One characteristic of the people in Myanmar is their smiling and friendly faces. Myanmar is also a country with its proud natural resources that can be found almost in every part of the country. of a setting, the Baptist mission started with the arrival of Dr. Adoniram Judson and Mrs. Ann Judson, who were sent by the Baptist mission from the United States of America. They arrived on the 13th of July, 1813. After six years, Uno, the first national convert, was baptized. And within a year, the young church had grown to 10 members. Other missionaries came in to support the work, and therefore, it spread out from Yangon to Jekkami, Molamyain, and Dewe, where the gospel reached to the Mon, Bama, and Kayen people. Then the mission proceeded to the north of Rakhine area. As the years went by, new converts sprang out among the Kayin, Kachin, Chin, and many among the other hill tribes. By the end of the Judson era in 1860, there were 74 churches and 3,904 baptized members established already. By 1900, the Baptist mission reached the Bama people, who are the majority people in Pe and Mandalay. Since then, churches have grown in numbers and Christianity has been established gradually. The Baptist Mission kept functioning through institutions like schools, colleges, hospitals, vocational training schools, orphanages, agricultural development program, etc., etc. Together with the American missionaries, some nationals also took the leadership role in the Baptist work and Bama Baptist Missionary Convention was organized and formed on the 15th October 1865. 
1954, the word missionary to be dropped and was changed to Burma Baptist Convention. As the year 1963 is a year that marked the Judson's arrival of 150 years in Myanmar, the Baptist leaders thought that they should celebrate. This particular celebration is a thanksgiving for what the Lord had done through Judson. study church history, it always reflects on the political situation of the country in which the church located. This is true also of the Myanmar Baptist Church history. After 1962, when the government nationalized all the private business and institutions, it also affected the institutions owned and operated by the Baptist Mission. Later in 1966, all foreign missionaries were asked to leave the country and as Myanmar declared socialism as its political policy, doors began to close down for foreign controlled mission activities. Myanmar churches left behind abruptly in the hands of national leaders. It was a loss for the Baptists when all these incidents happened. But later, the national church leaders found out that it was the Lord's timing for the Baptist mission in Myanmar to struggle for its own maturity. It was a time when God revealed himself to the national leaders that he is the God who will guide his ministry. It took 26 years for the Myanmar Baptist to learn this precious lesson. Under the socialist government, because of a general dissatisfaction with the social, political, and economic situation, the democracy movement came along with serious protest and upheaval in 1988. So, the armed forces then took over the power of the state to stabilize the chaotic situation in the country, and the State Law and Order Restoration Council was formed. Throughout all these struggles, it was an amazing thing that all the theological institutions and seminaries could continue without any foreign missionaries able to be present in the country. This is a great blessing because through these institutions, national leaders were nurtured to fulfill the need of the leadership of the churches. The mission works were done with some financial support from abroad, but mainly the financial gap was filled by the local churches. Although the Baptists suffered together with the people in Myanmar for 26 years, the church grew in numbers. Churches have learned that if it is not by the Lord's grace and guidance, it will be impossible for them to face all the hardships and difficulties. Therefore, in 1990, a huge number of Baptists from all over the country gathered together in Yangon to celebrate the 175th anniversary of Judson's arrival and the 125th anniversary of the Myanmar Baptist Convention. It was a joy, not only among the Baptists, but also the Yangon city dwellers, as it was the first time for them to see the celebration that brought a large crowd 
smiling, singing, worshipping together in Yangon after the 1988 upheaval period. The inspiration of this celebration under the leadership of the Myanmar Baptist Convention The main objective was Christ for Myanmar. Since then, the majority of the Baptist churches joined hand in hand to take part in this new challenge of Christ for Myanmar. The Cayenne commenced the program with an aim of reaching the other 50% of their own people to become Christian and the Kachin also launched out a mission known as Dojong Sasana in Kachin language to send out volunteers to serve people in various ways with a holistic approach. The Chin also launched their Chin for Christ in one century, which aimed to convert all Chins by the end of year 2000. The other language and regional groups also set up their own goals for fulfilling the main goal Myanmar for Christ. After making an evaluation of the Christ for Myanmar movements, it appeared that there was much success in carrying out the activities in almost all parts of the country, although there were some obstructions in some remote areas. As the year 2000 was about to come to an end, the Myanmar Baptist Convention, together with the language and regional groups, finally agreed that the AD 2000 Baptist Mission be concluded with a thanksgiving ceremony in order to tell the world about the goodness of the Lord. Indeed, it is a time to return thanks for what he had done for our country and our people. Every morning, Bible studies were given in various forms such as drama, interview, musical and testimony. All these studies were based on the celebration theme, thanksgiving for the past and dedication for the future. We have observed that each presentation came up with values to challenge the signs of the time. There were presentations made by groups such as ministers, men, women, youth and children and each group did their utmost to bring a message through a medium that could reach the participants' hearts. Over 10,000 people gathered around the Judson Memorial Hall and the extension sites to take part at the revival worship services. When Baptists were first set into an organization, they were formed through the language groups. So today, the Myanmar Baptist Convention has 16 language and regional groups and two individual distinctive churches in the Yango. The AD 2000 Baptist Mission was actually operated by these groups and without their presentations, this celebration would have been incomplete 
and it would never have taken place. Their songs, their dances, and their exclamations of praise are the expression of thanks, as in Psalms 126, verse 3, where it says, The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. So, we all enjoyed thanksgiving for the past. Yes, but what about for the future? As the psalmist says in Psalms 116, verse 12, How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? Do you ever think of what ought to be done? The only possible way is to dedicate ourselves for the future. On the last day of the celebration, an invitation was given to all the participants to take part in the Lord's Supper. It was a token of a new covenant with the Lord. About 6,000 people joined in. Although this was an end to the Thanksgiving celebration for the year 2000, yet it is the beginning of the new millennium. The vision of the Myanmar Baptist Convention for the 21st century is Thy will be done in Myanmar. This is a mission that will require a great commitment and sacrifice. We know that it is not an easy road that lies in front of us, but we are confident that the Lord will be with us throughout all our struggles. It is our hope that we will celebrate again in 2013 to mark the 200th anniversary of Judson's arrival. May we request you all to join us for his high call.